going to prove this theorem for addition for n by n matrices. If you're given four n by n matrices, you can show that they commute, that they have the associative law, that there is an identity element, an n by n identity element, and for any n by n matrix A, there exists another A, sorry, another n by n matrix where it's their inverse. There exists a unique B. Okay. So let's first prove that matrices of the size n by n commute. So proof number one. Let A and B be two n by n matrices. So now the A plus B IJ element it is just gonna be AIJ plus BIJ. But these are real numbers. They commute. So BIJ plus AIJ. But this is the same as the IJ element of B plus A. And if I show that the IJ element of A plus B is the same as the IJ element of B plus A, then the two matrices have to be equal. That is, the hence, A plus B must equal to B plus A. Okay. Proof of number two. The associative law. Let A, B, oops, A, B, and C be n by n matrices. Now, if you have A plus B, the IJ element, and you want to add the IJ element of matrix C, well, this is going to be A plus B I J plus C I J element. But the first two, sorry, this is just A I J plus B I J plus C I J. But these are real numbers. These being A I J, B I J, and C I J. And it just turns out that our real numbers have their uh, er, er, associative property for addition. That is, keeping the same order of these three real numbers that we're adding, I could invoke their associative law. Now this is AIJ element plus the IJ element of B plus C, but this is just A plus B plus C. It's the IJ element of that one. Well, that's what I wanted to show. That's exactly what I set out to show. Hence, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C, where I can bracket this way or that way. Now, the third thing we want to show, just to be sure, is that there's an identity element. Okay, so I looked up to be sure. Proof of three. And it has to be unique. Well, the 
define O to equal to OIJ, which equals to zero for all IJ, for all pairs of IJ. Okay, it has zeros in every entry. Okay, then A plus zero, well, let me say this. Uh, the IJ's element of A plus O is going to be AIJ plus OIJ, which is equal to A plus zero. It's always zero. IJ, which is equal to which is equal to a i j which is just a i j so a plus zero is equal to a okay. so we have to show it's unique suppose there is this an old prime such that a plus O prime is equal to A plus A plus O is equal to A plus A prime. Well, I don't want to talk about inverses yet. Okay. So let us just say this for now. Okay. On one hand, O plus O prime, thinking of this as the zero, it equals to zero, and O plus O prime, thinking of this as the zero, it equals to this. Well, I added the same two matrices and I got my answers. So, they must be equal. Okay. Now we want to talk about inverses. Okay. Let A be so this is proof of four. Let A be a M by N matrix. I claim there exists a matrix B, M by N, such that A plus D is this zero matrix. Now, I'm going to define B as follows. The IJ element of B is negative, is negative one times the IJ element of A. That is, if the ij element of A is 7, then the ij element of B will be negative 7. And if the ij element of A is negative 5, 
then the ij element of v will be negative negative 5 or positive 5. Now, the ij element of a plus b is going to be, well, it's going to be a plus b ij, but that's going to be a plus negative a by definition of b ij, but that equals to 0 ij. That is, the ij element of a plus b will be 0. For every ij, hence, a plus b is equal to this 0 matrix. And I proved now what I, I proved what I set out to prove, that those four facts about addition of matrices of the same size are valid. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. If you hate videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Leave comments either way. If there's a proof that you like to see, leave a comment and I'll try my best to make up that video showing the proof of your theorem. Most of all, watch and learn. See you in the next video.